It's the AM show, and now the Africa Youth Award is the primary platform recognizing the works of young Africans on the continent and the diaspora, paying attention to outstanding achievements and the innovative, uh, dynamic shaping youth contributions. The IA has inspired and constantly rewarded sacrifice. Um, of young people and sacrificing several service since its, its launch in 2014. And now let's bring in members of the AYA for more on the upcoming 2019 award where several young Gambians have been nominated for recognition. We are now joined by Swaibusi, Information and Communication Director of the a AYA Gambia Chapter and also Isatu Bokum who I suppose is going to be a recipient of this particular award. Welcome to the AM show, lady and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, so I will start with you as the uh, director of the Gambia chapter. Tell us a little bit more about AYA. I, I call it, pronounce it as AYA. I don't know if that's Aya. correct. Yeah, yeah that, that's correct. Okay. That's correct. Uh, thank you very much, Muluchi. AYA is a non-governmental organization that okay. was organized by young Africans who are from different parts of Africa uh -huh. with the sole aim of becoming a voice for young people to realize their potentials and of course take active part in the implementation of their actions. Uh -huh. So basically that is um, all about the organization and we have our vocal points or probably our locations in different parts of Africa and Gambia is not exceptional. Mm. And who are your target, target uh, groups? Who do you target? We target a lot of people and part of those that we target are the women, mm -hmm. you know, the activists, the, the orphans, the friendly or the disabled people, mm. and of course students who are taking active part in education. So basically these are some of the targeted groups that we, we okay. have. Now tell us a little bit more about your activities that you've been having. What kind of activities uh, are you, have you been embarking on? Uh, Aya, to be more precise, has not been taking active part in implementing some actions because we knew we're not that much a very old organization, but we have our aims and objectives that we want to carry out, or want to implement. And part of these objectives is we want to provide form for um, African leaders and their organizations to carry out their actions. Mm -hmm. We also invest in literacy, that is we help young people who engage in writing to develop mm -hmm. their writing skills. Mm -hmm. We also invest in arts and culture. We help young people to realize their culture, mm -hmm. help to preserve their culture as well. Okay. We also um, take active part in uh, providing mm -hmm. a room for young Africans to at least realize their potentials mm -hmm. and that is why we're coming up with this award ceremony so that African leaders can realize that yeah people are at least watching them and mm -hmm. we're feeling what they're doing in, in our continent. Interesting and you're now talking about the award ceremony tell us why uh, it's, it's an African leadership award very vital in, in this movement. Yeah the African leadership award is very vital if you look at Africa as a continent, we're moving. Okay. We're having a lot of inspiring young leaders mm -hmm. who are coming up with different minds to see the continent move forward. Mm -hmm. And they've been taking active part in coming up with some achievements, coming up with some activities to see our continent is at least one of the best continents mm -hmm. in the whole world. Mm -hmm. And with these achievements and activities that young people have been engaging in, we as an organization that is IA realize that it is very necessary to come with an award ceremony where we are going to award these young African leaders, honor them for the good job that they have been mm. doing in terms of their society, in terms of the nation, mm. in terms of the continent at large. So basically, mm. That is the whole reason why we're coming up with this okay. award ceremony. Vera, we'll hold it to that uh, for the moment and move to the lady. I said to I know is a very vibrant young person, quite an ardent um, activist in the country. She's very passionate about young people. And here you are, and you are also going to be a recipient of this award. Tell us how you were chosen for this particular award. Uh, well, I'm not a recipient yet. Okay. I'm a nominee. Uh, that is why I'm yes. saying you're going to be, because I'm sure well, you're going to come here with an award. Well, I, I hope so. you back on the AM show. <laughs> I hope so. Well, um, it's really an honor, like I always say, to be recognized for the work that I do. Mm -hmm. It was a surprise when it came in, because mm -hmm. my brother 
told me few at least few days later that I said to I sent your name in for an award and I'm sure you're gonna get it I'm like oh my god what did you do <laughs> so it, it, it was just a surprise and okay. I'm really honored to be a part of the list okay so you were nominated by someone yes else. by someone else uh -huh. so based on what actually as I know you have a lot of activities <laughs> you're doing and you're also um, the guys talk show you are the founder yes. of the organization so yes. tell us so a little it was bit based of the on background activism. of what you do and what actually led to your um, nomination in this um, I am more into girls and women activism and um, I also founded and I'm the CEO of Girls Talk Show slash org. Mm -hmm. um, with Girls Talk Show what we do is we look into issues affecting girls and young women in our society and we try as much as possible to see how to bring solutions to make sure that these problems that they face are solved. Mm -hmm. And over the months since our inception we have um, 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 engaged in different types of activities. We have had outreach programs, we have had seminars, we have had workshops and we have had mental programs and also health and fitness programs right. to make sure that mm -hmm. young girls at least have somewhere to call home mm -hmm. have somewhere to to you know to find peace yeah. and also to achieve their dreams without no backgrounds or requirements very well I mean, that then that is so so exciting and out of 50 people here you are as one of the nominees how did you feel when you received the news i felt great i was well, it, some it just i just had an email pop and, and you're the first only gambian only gambian yes mm. which is actually a surprise because i told him this morning <laughs> i know a lot of young gambians in this country mm -hmm. who are doing really well mm -hmm. so it's really surprising that i'm the only one mm -hmm. but all the same i hope that um, next year's award we have more participation mm -hmm. from the Gambia and um, it was an email pop-up when I saw the email I was I was excited yeah <laughs> <laughs> interesting and now uh, that's why but let me just come to you before we wrap it up I uh, just tell us some of the part partners you're working on uh, with uh, I mean working with on this award because this is quite massive and we're talking about Africa as a continent and we do know that it's uh, partnership is very crucial in this in this uh, endeavor yes we are trying our level best as an organization to partner with um, different organizations mm -hmm. so as to have the award ceremony um, a very big thing at least one that will be written in the mm -hmm. history books of this country mm -hmm. uh, we're partnering with a lot of organizations okay. uh, to help you know boost this um, award ceremony of ours mm -hmm. so but we're doing our level best That's as an organization mm -hmm. as as to how we are going to at least make this our ceremony the best. Well, I just hope that it would definitely turn out being the best. And with this uh, very uh, intelligent young lady uh, who's <laughs> representing us from the Gambia, I'm pretty sure you're going to come home with something. J no. Just promise me with that, please. I hope. But before I let go of you, I said to you, any advice you have for young people, young girls that are uh, watching and looking up to you? Because I know you have a whole lot of them that are out there. <laughs> Well, um, what I always tell girls is there is no limit to what we can achieve. As girls and young women, we know mm -hmm. we are in a society where we are told what to do, how to walk, how to talk, where to go. Mm -hmm. But those are just limitations that we are working through. And as strong young ladies that I know all of them are, this should not limit them. Mm -hmm. they, when they have a dream, when they have a focus, when they have the vision, let them walk towards it and they will definitely, definitely get there. Finally, uh, Swaibu, before I take leave of you both, just just tell us uh, when this award is actually taking place and what do we look forward to? Yes, the award is going to take place in September um, 26, 7 and 8. And we're going to have a lot of programs going on. We're going to have educational uh, promotion, mm -hmm. which is going to be 27, 28. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have the award ceremony. And I want to talk a little on the award ceremony. Okay. The award ceremony is categorized in three folds. We have the award for visionary leadership, right, right. which is sponsored by Alison Gatsize, okay. a Gambian British businessman, yeah, a philanthropist. A Gambian, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So he, he sponsored the Visionary okay. Leadership Award. Where's the prize? Uh, the <laughs> prize will be known, of course, on okay. that day. So that is the fourth uh, category of the award. Okay. And we've got sponsor, like I said, from Alison Gatsize, mm -hmm. a British, uh, a Gambian British businessman who have a big heart for his country. Mm -hmm. And we also have the second category of the award ceremony, which is the humanitarian award. Mm -hmm. um, we are looking for sponsors for that category. Mm -hmm. We also have the um, Women Innovation mm -hmm. and Leadership Award, which ISADU is part of. Part of. Mm -hmm. And we also looking uh, for sponsors on that category okay. of award. 
Okay. So basically, these are the three categories mm -hmm. of the award that we are going to have September um, sometime sooner. Very well. Where is this taking place? It's taking place at um, Karaba Hotel. Okay, so Gambia is Gambia hosting it. Gambia is hosting it, yes. This is going to be very, very interesting. interesting. And I'm pretty sure I'll try my best to make it there. <laughs> because have I have to cheer up for my girl. And Swaibu <laughs> and Isetu Boku, many thanks for passing by. Thank you so the, much for having show. us. Thank, Thank you very much. Do you have anything last thing you want to say to the Gambian people before we go? Yes, have? I just want to... Because I see that in your eyes. You <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just want to say thank you very much. <laughs> to all those that, that have applied for this award ceremony. Mm -hmm. And those that are not lucky to be shortlisted, okay. I will still tell them that this is not the end of life. So Let we had more trying. from the Gambia? Mm, we had four from the Gambia okay. who applied, applied okay. but only as the Boku was lucky oh, to wow. be shortlisted. So okay. I think we have to congratulate her for that. <laughs> and But if you look at the general application, we have about 106 people who applied across Africa. Mm -hmm. And out of that 106, mm -hmm. we nominate, uh, we shortlisted 43 at the first instant. Okay. From there, we looked at that 43 again and came up with a final list of 35 mm -hmm. young Africans who are going to be part of this, mm -hmm. our ceremony. Mm -hmm. So away from that, I just want to say thank you very much to GRTS for having us here. Mm -hmm. And thank you for watching. And I will say thank you. <laughs> yes. yes, and I said once again, congratulations. Thank you very and much. And all the best of luck. Thank you. Um, this is the AM show, and we had uh, the members, I mean, the uh, Information and Communication Director of IA Gambia Chapter, together with Isetu Bokum, who is actually a nominee of uh, the Africa Youth Award that is set to take place in September here in the Gambia, and we are looking forward to that.